This is my wheelhouse. This subject matter is my bread and butter, my lifelong obsession. More so than Star Wars, more so than anything. Astronomy, space exploration, I know the Mercury 7 by heart, I've seen a bunch of shuttle launches in person. It is my shit. Needless to say, I was extremely excited to see First Man, but because of a certain baby daughter, I wasn't able to watch it until it came out on Blu-ray. First Man is incredible. It is an extreme cinematic experience despite me not seeing it in the cinema. It rivals any character study I've seen on film. It rivals any historic space film when it comes to truly showing what test pilots called spam in a can. I had high hopes, and meeting my expectations seemed improbable, but goddamn, First Man blew me away. From the lofty story about a tech wizard pilot with drive risking everything to the strains of a mother who worries that her kids will grow up fatherless. From space to kitchen, it is interesting through and through, it is nerve wracking heartbreaking, and an incredibly deep look at a man who valued his work, often kept to himself loved his family, dealt with loss, bottled things up, perhaps avoided relationships for fear of losing them, saw the big picture of what this all meant, had incredible drive, a deep intellect, and was disciplined. I thought the way Damien Chazelle chose to tell this eight-year story, this time span, was perfect. Quick cuts, showing subtle changes, inferring the passing of time. It kept the movie's pace up, but somehow allowed time for things to breathe. It's quite possibly one of the best examples of how you can crunch a large chunk of time successfully into a movie without it feeling bloated or rushed. And they did a good job picking things from Armstrong's life leading into Apollo 11. The things that made him the man he became. The loss of a child. As a parent, I can't even fathom that pain. Having that happen so early in the film really set the tone. This is the story of a hero for the human race, but it is the real story of a hero. The humanizing story of one of your heroes. It's the story of a man, not necessarily the mission. Armstrong is one of my heroes. Hell, if my wife and I ever have a son, I told her years ago that I want his middle name to be Armstrong. So I am deeply appreciative that we have a character study of a film rather than what I was initially anticipating, which was a similar boy scouty attaboy rousingly patriotic and uplifting film like Apollo 13 was. While I love Apollo 13, it is in my top five movies of all time without a doubt. First Man's methods of storytelling and deep insights into history's hero is different and it's needed. I was constantly blown away by how Ryan Gosling sounded and acted like Neil Armstrong. At the beginning of the film when he was flying the X-15, I was mesmerized by how much he looked like Armstrong. If you've ever seen interviews with Armstrong or read any biographical material, you know he was supremely technical, reserved, had a little dry sense of humor that would occasionally show, and often came off as very bookish. He was a Navy veteran, an engineer by trade, an engineer at heart. During the pre-flight news conference, a reporter asked Armstrong where he'd like to go on vacation when he returns from the mission, and Armstrong responded by saying he wants to go to the Lunar Receiving Laboratory, because if he makes it there, that means the mission was a success. That is the perfect insight into Armstrong's mindset. While most people would say, I want to go to Tahiti, I want to go to the Bahamas, Machu Picchu, Armstrong was mission focused with a little bit of humor sprinkled on top. The part of the movie where a reporter asked the crew what sentimental thing they'd like to take with them to the moon actually did happen, and Armstrong's reply, if you've seen the movie, was, I'd like to take more fuel. The movie perfectly captures his attitude, his drive, his focus. The way these missions were shot was a feat. As a viewer, you truly got a sense of why test pilots, like I said, called astronauts spam in a can. I appreciate the shots of things as well. Walls, panels, tactile objects inside of the capsules and cockpits. It shows you how intricate these systems were, and at the same time, how fragile it all was for the inhabitants inside. We saw what the astronauts saw. We were given a glimpse, more so than any other film, at how truly harrowing these missions were from a perspective that has never been shown. I felt claustrophobic, I felt unease. From one mission to the other, the sense of a new frontier being charted was fully on display. First Man is one of the best biographical films I've ever seen. In its detail, its accuracy, and in its ability to crunch an incredibly intricate story that spans years into a digestible film. I'm not only saying that because I'm a big fan of the subject matter, I'm saying it because it's true. I appreciate when our heroes are humanized. 
I appreciate when our notions that are filtered through the lens of history play as little role as possible, allowing for accuracy to become paramount. It's less about the mission, more about the individual. First Man is the story of a man with faults, incredible drive, and focus climbing the highest ladder that has ever been built. I cannot recommend this movie enough. Hello Greedo, out.